Ooh. Ooh. One sounds like you're on stage. Right this one is used by Billie Eilish, Rita Ora, and Katy Perry, Dua Lipa, and Dolly Parton. This is the ultimate microphone comparison video, the second of three. Today, we're comparing six microphones for female vocals. I've already covered male vocals, and in an upcoming video, I'll cover rap vocals. I'll put a link to them in the video description. I've got a huge variety of mics here, the industry's best, and even a budget mic that's super popular for home studios. Can it compete with the more expensive mics? We'll find out. And yes, I've got the mics that some of the best female voices of today sing into. Today I have Anjali, a talented singer and friend in the studio. We're going to start with my favorite part of any microphone video, a blind test. Take note of your favorites and let me know your top three in the comments below. Anjali will sing two songs and I'll let you hear it soloed and in a mix. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby, some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby, some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby. If I ain't got you, baby, some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby. Did you make a note of your favorites? Honestly, this is already turning out differently compared to the male vocals video. I have to thank Zounds for sending us these mics to test out. They've got all these mics in stock and great people too. I'll put links to all these mics in the video description below. And if you buy using my links, it does help out this channel. Thank you. Now let's do the reveal. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing Let's try another song with a different vibe. I found myself dreaming in silver and cold. 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 I found myself dreaming. In silver and cold, I found myself dreaming. In silver and cold. So can you hear the differences? I'm already picking my favorites. Let's hear the chorus and the vocals in the mix. So I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna So listening back to my mixes, there's a star of the show, but it's not the one Anjali picked when she listened to her recordings. In fact, her top two may surprise you. We'll have to see what happens in the rap vocals video. By the way, I'll show you how I processed Anjali's vocals later in the video. So which mics did Anjali pick when she listened back to the audio? All right, can we pick your favorite or favorite right, I few? I think I like, I think it was three and four. Three and four. Same here. Three and four. Really? Three and four. 
Really? Yeah. Three and four. Anjali's choices were the Warm Audio WA87 and the TLM 103 by Neumann. These are not the most expensive mics here. Shocker, right? And here's what I thought of each mic and why Anjali picked her favorites. Hey, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I bring you music gear, tutorials, and the latest new stuff in my Saturday music gear news report. Let's start with Anjali's favorites. Although she agreed with me on the TLM 103, her other pick was the Warm Audio WA87. The WA87 is a special mic. It actually tries to mimic the sound of the legendary U87 by Neumann, which is a lot more expensive. Remember the Warm Audio mic is just $699 compared to $3,695 for the U87. Listen back to the recordings. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. promise tomorrow so i'm gonna love you no and i promise tomorrow so i'm gonna love you they don't sound identical but regardless the warm audio did an excellent job with her vocals what really surprised me is the warm audio mic didn't score high in the male vocals video like it did the females anjali liked the crispness of her voice with this mic but what do you think Comment below. Now, there was a mic that just sounded like a stage, a concert performance. I'll get to that one in a sec. First, let's talk about Anjali's other pick, the Neumann TLM 103. The TLM 103 is a great mic, which is known for its prominent high-end sparkle. That gives your voice a modern sound and makes it stand out in a mix. And it also captured a lot. There's a vibrato in Anjali's voice that stood out with the TLM 103 in a really nice way. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby. The TLM 103 is also a great choice if you want to get a super high quality, high end mic, but don't want to spend tons of money. It's a great value for what you get. The TLM 103 is used by Billie Eilish, Halsey, Imogen Heap, and Nora Jones. Okay, the Neumann U87 is a studio standard used by many female vocalists, including Ariana Grande, Dua Lipa, Sarah Bareilles, Dolly Parton, Selena, Gwen Stefani, Christina Aguilera, and so many more. But this wasn't anyone's top pick when compared to the others, and it's the most expensive mic here. Now, I do feel like it rounded out the sound nicely and gave the whole performance a pro studio vibe, but what do you think? Did it live up to the legendary status with Anjali's vocals? I woke up in tears with you by my side, breath of relief, I realized. No, and I promise tomorrow. Now, if some of the mics in this comparison are too expensive for you, let's cover the cheapest mic in this roundup. And before I do, if your budget is just $100, I made a video rounding up the best $100 mics in a video right here. The Rode NT1A is the cheapest mic here, and it stood its ground against the others. It didn't stand out as a winner, but honestly, in the mix with effects, I don't think a lot of people can tell the difference. It was a bit harsh at times, where the more expensive mics were smooth and pleasant. But really, the Rode offers such a great value. You get the mic, shock mount, cable, pop filter, all for $229. I mean, you could get 16 of these, or just one of the Neumann U87s. By the way, you'll need that pop filter because this mic didn't handle plosives very well. Um, do you know what I thought processed? of? Yeah. We should just delete all her scenes and I'll do the B-roll over her vocals. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Okay, the AKG C414 is becoming one of my favorite mics. In my opinion, it's the most realistic sounding mic, but that doesn't appeal to everyone. When I sang with it in the male vocals video, I felt the Manly and the Neumann mics made me sound better than reality, and that certainly helps me out. It didn't stand out with Anjali's vocals either, but it was the most transparent of all in this group. But it was missing a little of that magic that some of the others brought. Hey, did you know that Madison Beer uses this mic for her vocals? Yeah. 
more. One sounds like, like you're I'm on stage. Right there. Yeah. 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 One has some kind of quality to it that's really different from the others. Finally, the Manly was the one that really sounded like a stage, a concert performance. Even though it wasn't a favorite, this mic consistently gave that diva-like sound every time Anjali sang into it. And she and Dorothy agreed on that. Some people want diamond rings, some just want everything. I have a feeling you guys are going to pick that out too. The Manly mic is used by Avril Lavigne, Katy Perry, and Rita Ora, among many others. And you guys consistently chose this as one of your favorites when I sang into it in the male vocals video. All these mics are large diaphragm condenser mics and I recorded them in the cardioid position, which is the best for vocal recordings. These are XLR mics, so you'll need to connect them to a mixer or audio interface. I recorded all these mics simultaneously with my Universal Audio Apollo audio interfaces. I processed Anjali's vocals with Ableton EQ, the Universal Audio LA-2A and 1176 plugins, Soothe for some de-essing, FabFilter Timeless for delay, and Valhalla Vintage Verb for reverb. Final word, you don't need to agree with my assessment or Anjali's picks. Trust your ear and buy what you can afford. And let me know which mic you prefer in the comments below. And I'm kind of starting to think that there isn't just one mic that's great for everything. Thanks to Anjali for bringing her incredible vocals to this video. I'll put links to her socials in the description below. If you're ready to check out how these mics performed with rap vocalists and my own vocals, watch the videos here. Keep making the music you love and I'll see you in the next one.